Hello everyone, Russell Wright from Network Empire and CurationProfits.com and I wanted to make sure that I let you know that we haven't fallen off the face of the earth. I know you haven't heard from the Theme Zoom Network Empire team for the last couple of weeks and I've broken the primary law of email follow-up and not giving you guys a consistent follow-up because we've been working on the Network Empire final software changes. We've been working on the G++ system which is an RSS syndication system and feed application It'll make it easier for you to grab the Google Plus and the Plus One RSS feed if you're into Google Plus marketing. We've been working on creating new content and better content as well as organizing the members area in new ways. So I'm going to be more consistent with the emails in the upcoming weeks as we begin to develop powerful software applications that integrate content curation, RSS syndication, perpetual lead automation, and SEO integration all in one membership area and website application. But we're going to try a new format today, which is the uh, News Empire Roundup. You can see I'm doing a video and this video I'm doing this mostly because I want to honor your time. As we move at the speed of what myself and Sue Bell are calling the real-time web, it's important that we that I also respect how little time that you have. The web seems to be caving in or creeping in on all of us uh, on our regular lives, whether it be our Google Plus application, logging into Google. Pretty much uh, you can see that you have every single opportunity under every single moment of the day to be interrupted with these new, as if Facebook wasn't enough, you've got uh, Google Plus people adding you to your stream, tons of opportunity to become even more distracted than we ever were before. And so the rule for this year for me is back to basics. Uh, I'm surrounded by some of those brilliant software developers around so I have no excuse for being distracted by new sh bright shiny objects and neither do you. Uh, just know how everything's integrated. If somebody's not teaching integration uh, with a product or service, get rid of it. And that leaves you with a very few uh, people that are going to be really that useful for you. So if you have a temptation to, you know, jump off into a, be distracted by a bright shiny object, my su suggestion would be that you ask yourself, what would what would be the worst that would happen? Could I live without this? If I threw this away right now, and that includes my stuff too. If I threw this away right now. Would I be okay? <laughs> In other words, do I know what I'm doing for my business model, my website blueprinting, my RSS integration, and my marketing? Do I have it, all of it integrated in one thing so that I'm communicating more than I am being distracted? So this is really my personal goal for 2012, and I want to help you. So this experimental method is to give you quickly the uh, emails that I meant to send out to you in one single news follow-up, and we're going to cover all the major uh, areas that we cover at NetworkEmpire.com. That is Domain Web Studio, which is website silo architecture integration and what we call Epic Keyword DNA processing maps. We create maps so that you can integrate these maps into your website blueprint with the highest, most profitable vertical and socially uh, dominant themes around a given keyword term or cluster. We're going to talk about uh, Google Plus Plus and we're going to talk about content curation. These are the topics that we're focusing on this year. So the first story, and again I'll give you all these stories here, the first story is more than one Google Plus Okay, now that was a question by Terry Lamb. I want to thank him for asking a fantastic question. And really what this question was about was um, what do you do if you've got more than one business when it comes to Google++? And it, there's a very specific answer. You can see I've included that in the weekly roundup and I feel like it's a very important answer. I also answered it on Quora. You can probably go direct to the core question. Yes, I will give you a short summary here that it is against Google's terms of service to have more than one Google pl personal Google Plus page. However, it is not against Google's terms of service for everybody in your family or for business customers, uh, I'm sorry, business um, uh, staff members to have a Google Plus account. So there's ways you can work with that. And I also explain the difference between, in this article, the difference between Google Plus pages and the difference between uh, uh, Google Plus personal. Yeah. And so that's what you really need to understand when it comes to shallow plusing and deep plusing. Very important questions. And I know that for beginners can be a little bit overwhelming. Another story, which I think is significant for you to look at if you use content curation and 
keyword research, theme research. Now, for those of you in the content curation movement that really don't care much about keyword research, or you're on the side of the fence where you think SEO and research of any kind is just out the window with the dawn of curation, I can tell you that's not true. Um, but you know, whatever you know you believe, we're coming from the position where we believe there's a profound difference between natural uh, natural language processing, semantic semantic analysis, and latent semantic analysis as it relates to content curation. There's a difference between theme curation, uh, topical theme curation, and content curation as it's being marketed right now. So, you know, maybe semantics, but, you know, it might just be semantics, which is our point exactly. So we're going to go ahead and um, take a look at that. That's in the, the uh, weekly uh, Network Empire Roundup. Actually, this is monthly at this point. Okay, I also want to toss in the information that we had out there on SOPA. Here's what the world looks like with SOPA. Uh, I hope that you are aware of, when, of what went down with the SOPA issue. And for us it's pretty important because we really do believe that uh, this, this SOPA issue, I think we have the what a world with SOPA looks like. The best thing that we've seen out there on the uh, Stop Online Privacy Act, uh, which is what SOPA is an acronym for, the best thing that we saw out there was uh, uh, Clay Shirky's video, and we also saw the Khan Academy. I love the Khan Academy, the way that he uses uh, Inkboard and he uses the Wacom Bamboo tablet to educate uh, people all around the world on different topical subjects. It's great for homeschooling, great for uh, supplementary education. But he had a really nice video, which you can check out in this story, uh, which really summarizes, this is designed to save you time, which really summarizes what SOPA is for the rest of us. So you don't have to get all, you know, wrapped around the axle or bought, you know, kind of tied down in, you know, all of this, uh, you know, the different perspectives. Clay, between Clay and uh, the Khan Academy, you should have everything you need to know uh, to determine that SOAP is probably not a great idea for freedom and for the, you know, freedom of the web and for in interlinking, okay? So that's uh, an important story that we've added to the mix, and you can check that out if you want. And here's the Khan Academy version. I'll toss that story down in there as well. Okay, now we also have some stuff that's directly related to uh, ThemeZoom. I was able to uh, do some interviews with um, ThemeZoom architect Sue Bell, and we're going to go ahead and put these up here at the top because it's always about um, making sure that you you know, keep the topics that are most relevant. Right now, the most relevant topic for most of my list, and you're on that obviously, is uh, Domain Web Studio natural language processing, website style architecture, and how to build an empire using all of these aspects of what we're teaching you. And for those of you who have not checked out One Web Ring to Rule Them All yet, it, I strongly recommend that you do that. It's available inside the uh, NetworkEmpire.com course. We also explain a lot about the, the Web Ring philosophy that we have uh, at ThemeZoomGlossary.com. We've actually shortened the difficult ThemeZoom neuroeconomics domain. Um, we talk about that. And again, this is Sue's integrated map. Sue is the architect of all of our integrated systems um, that include the uh, market domination Web Ring. Now, that might sound a little bit internet market oriented, internet marketing oriented, but it really is a map that allows you to understand how to lay out your various social media uh, website silo architecture processes across multiple domains. And this is, a pretty, this is pretty big stuff. This is probably not for a small business owner. We also have it at onewebringtorulethemall.com where we talk to you about how to think about these various layers. I mean, if you're not overwhelmed by the number of things happening online that you're expected to integrate by now, and we're professional software developers and enterprise platform programmers, and you know, it's tempting to be overwhelming. Okay, it's tempting to be overwhelmed. So if you're not feeling that, then you probably haven't been out, you know, you probably have some kind of amazing discipline so that you hardly ever open emails or get distracted at all, which is great. Or you just have a, a ruthless focus on your primary business model, which is great. For the rest of you, uh, we do strongly recommend that you look at the one web ring system and start building stackable business processes and systems so that you know what to give your attention to and that your heuristics is kind of clear. In other words, you know what it is that you're doing next. And that's an important aspect of you know what's going on right now on the web. And that's a great story. 
Uh, Sue so gets into that a little bit and what the heck is an EPIC keyword DNA map. I love this uh, conversation I had with her and it is in the members area and it's part of that but it's something that you're probably definitely going to want to take care of and take a look at that. Okay, um, I'm going to toss some things in. I know I have a few of you on my list who are really focused on content curation. Here's a pretty good post um, which is biggest content curation misconceptions. I'll put that down at the bottom. And this is a Quora question. Uh, how do you find, what are the best ways, uh, I think the question in Quora was uh, where do you begin, where do you, where do you find uh, the best places for curation and what do you think the biggest misconceptions in the content curation industry actually are. For me I'm pretty solid on what I believe, I believe that there's a misconception that somehow curators aren't involved in indirect selling and that's just my own little uh, you know idiosyncrasy It's what I bring to the content curation movement and I believe that uh, the curation movement there's a, there's a kind of a purist view of curation then there's a real-time news curation there's RSS curation so the, the word curation is being thrown around uh, in response to a lot of overwhelming activity and technologies that are all colliding at the same time okay? and that story can also be completely uh, integrated into your mind by this article which is called content curation social media and indirect sales to me this is a very important issue I'm gonna go ahead and put this at the bottom okay there's gonna be more stories relating to network empire um, let me just here's an interesting thing too um, there's another story that Sue brought for us and it was uh, let me see if I can find that okay Content curation support semantic analysis uh, and based retrieval. That's an interesting thing. Is, is there a relationship between natural language processing and LSI based retrieval? Please be advised that Sue has not yet uh, given her input on this article, and I think she'd probably tear it apart for me. So I'm not going to get to. Uh, I'm not going to say that that one is done. It's a Quora follow up. But we're working a lot with LSI natural language processing and content curation right now. So that should keep you up. And then at the top, uh, five automatic, automated traffic methods in one. And this is where I'm talking about, again about the Google Plus Plus course, which is really starting to take off. I'm excited, guys and gals, because the software is almost done. I'll, I'll give you a little inside scoop of what's happening with that. Uh, Sue is guiding me through the process. Uh, you know, boy, it's been an interesting process of developing my own application without her being there every single step of the way. Uh, you know, theme zoom, Kraken, I had Kelly, I had Sue building that application. It's a major military industrial program. She's had experience with the military programming. But the RSS feed application, I'm outsourcing, I'm doing all the processing, I'm debugging. I'm not even a developer. I'm a marketer and a, uh, a neurotheologist. But it's been really a lot of fun trying to you know get my training wheels off so to speak when it comes to designing an application so the Google Plus application required an automated service that um, creates an RSS feed uh, out of your Google Shallow Plus and your Google Deep Plus and that is in this article okay so this is what we're looking at today we're gonna call this the Network Empire Roundup I'm going to go ahead and publish that and I'm gonna send this to everybody in the newsletter as you can see I'm using Storify here this will be published on our blog as well I use this in different kinds of ways so you've got all these in one places I want to thank you for your patience as we create uh, yet again uh, the one feed to rule them all uh, one web ring to rule them all natural language processing vertical online market analysis military industrial application it's been one heck of a wild ride at the end of the day I want to tell you express to you what I've learned personally is that doesn't matter how sophisticated things get or how how many changes come around with Google or how they deal with the keyword issues that are happening how they deal with the the logged in engine versus the logged out engine at the end of the day people join your community and they work with you based on uh, people and ideas that they know love and trust know like and trust and ideas that assist them in creating a clearer world and making better decisions for their business and for their technology applications so I hope that you're applying this to your business this year in 2012 I'll see you on the next newsletter next week Russell Wright and the Network Empire team signing out <laughs>